Everybody, welcome back. Today we are going further along with the uh, applied visual design. We're going to adjust the color of various elements to complementary colors. So when we load this one, we see we've got a basic looking sort of black and white page and we're going to style it up by giving it color. Uh, applied visual design, adjust the color of various elements to complementary colors. The complementary colors uh, challenge showed that the opposite color colors on the color wheel can make each other appear more vibrant when placed side by side. However, the strong visual contrast can be jarring if you're unused, uh, if, if it's overused on a website. This can sometimes make text harder to read uh, if it's placed on a complementary colored background. In practice, one of the colors is usually dominant and, that, and the complement to used uh, is used to bring visual attention to certain content on a page. I'm thinking if you try to you want to make buttons like bright colors and sort of stand out if that's the navigation that you're helping, hoping that users will take when they're um, using your page. So if you make a sales page, you make the sales button orange or red. And I think this, they're just saying that you can use a complementary color to have it stand out. Uh, so this page will be, uh, will use a shade of teal as the dominant color and it's orange complement to visually highlight the sign up buttons. Okay, so teal is going to be the dominant color and then orange is going to highlight the uh, button. Change the background color of both the header and the footer from the from black to teal. Uh, then change the H2 text color to teal as well. Finally, uh, change the background color of the button to an orange color. Okay, so the first thing we're going to start off with is this teal one. I'm just going to copy and paste this pound and then what we want to do is change um, the background color of both the header and the footer from black to teal. So we see the headers here and we see the background color is black and then um, down here on the footer it's also black. And so I'm just going to paste in the hex code and uh, hmm, that's crazy that it worked without the thing but it, you should generally want to put in front of hex codes you want to put the pound key, uh, the pound sign. Um, and then, uh, okay, then we change the H2 text color to teal as well. So here we can change this one to uh, teal. And so what's the H2 going to uh, select? The H2 is going to select each of these H2 elements. So when we do this, the word bisection vegetable chopping and machine learning in the kitchen. So these two headers are going to become uh, teal. And we want to make this... Uh, pound. I'm unsure why it's working without the pound. It didn't used to do that. And then finally the background color of the button to orange. And so the button selector class is here and the background color is currently white. Well you see that there's two buttons. Each of them has a sign up button on them. So this will turn uh, orange and this will turn orange. So this button and this button. And so we'll go up here and we want to make that the orange color. Okay that's teal. And I'm going to use this one to make it orange. There we go. This page looks a lot more shocking. So let's run the test, see if it works. Okay, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you thought this video was useful, and we'll see you in the next lesson.